dance. I don't know if you guys know this, but this is actually the very technical way to mix a drink. Hmm. Oh, that tastes like the early 2000s and bad decisions. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Kate, why on earth are you drinking a Malibu and Coke? And the answer is, I don't know why. I just was at the liquor store and I wanted something different and I haven't had, I don't know, a rum and Coke in a long time. And I remember in college, this was just like a sweet, sweet nectar. And now, you know what? This, I, I almost cannot abide. But you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna drink this. We're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna live in the moment. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's so sweet. Today, we are going to be doing a haul video. And I haven't done a haul video in a, a very long time. But yeah, I just have a bunch of awesome product to show you today. I have stuff from the Sephora sale. I've got PR to show you. So these are skincare items that I purchased at the Sephora sale. My order took, well, uh, honestly, I took forever to place the order. And then my order took forever. So it finally got here. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is something I talked about many times because I always repurchase this. I don't use this. This is actually from my boyfriend, Randy. This is the uh, Sika Pear Tiger Grass Cream from Dr. Jart. I couldn't even tell you what number tube this is. Like he has gone through so many of these. It's got to be close to 10 at this point. And that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot but this is literally the number one thing he wears morning and night and he has really sensitive skin and I think he might have a little bit of rosacea um so this is perfect for him because it pretty much clears all of that up and he is so dependent on it that when he starts running out of it he's like can you place a new tiger grass order I'm running out I'm like oh, okay I'm on it I'm on it and I do use this sometimes I use this if I have any skin irritations. It really is just a super healing, super hydrating cream. And what can I say? His skin looks phenom. Okay, now moving on to my products. I really went in on some new skincare and I actually follow the advice of Dev's Day. So Dev's Day, I mentioned her in my recent video, but uh, she's the reason I purchased several of these products. She, I think she posted like a top five skincare products she recommends at Sephora or something like that. So I really took her at her word. I will link her down below in the description box. She's new here on YouTube. She's just super chill, down to earth. She has great recommendations. She's also on Instagram as Dev's Day as well. This was an SPF she recommended and I'm so excited to try this. I'm trying to commit more to SPF. I know, I know, I'm not saying I don't wear SPF. I'm just saying that I'm an actual vampire and I'm not always slathering on the SPF because I try to live in the shadows, but I still know I should be wearing it. Okay, I get it. So <laughs> I, I'm i committing to that and I'm, I'm really excited to try this because this looks um, like it doesn't have any sort of a cast or anything to it. I have pointed this out before and a bunch of people were like, I'm glad you said that because I did not know that. So super goop is not goop, okay? I just want to be real clear. Okay, we're not talking about Gwyneth Paltrow's brand. There's Goop and then there's Super Goop. All right, cool. So this is the Every Single Face Watery Lotion SPF 50, which helps protect skin from a full spectrum of aggressors, UVA, UVB, blue, white, blue light, IRA, and pollution, invisible on all skin tones, which I think is like the big point to recognize here. And this universal SPF refreshes skin with a lightweight finish. This is their newest product, I think. This is clean chemical sunscreen actives, dermatologist tested, non-irritating, reef safe, no synthetic fra fragrance, and it's vegan. So this is what the packaging looks like. I think it's super cute. I think it's really unique actually. And yeah, this is described as a watery lotion. Okay, I don't know how to open this and I feel dumb. Is it just that I'm too hydrated? What the? Okay, okay. I think I was just, my hands were just a little bit uh, greasy, but this is how it opens. So you twist the cap off. I'm gonna use a little bit of product here for you to see. So that's what it looks like. And I'm going to rub it into my hand 
And indeed, indeed, there is literally no cast. It seems to be completely invisible. Now, obviously, that's just on my skin, but it is saying that this is like that for every skin tone, which is pretty phenomenal. Oh, there's just like a very, very subtle SPF scent. This is reminding me a lot of the Glossier Invisible Shield, which I still have, and that is actually my go-to SPF. But the thing I love about this is that it's a higher SPF. The Glossier, I believe is, yeah, this is uh, 35 and this is 50. So definitely gonna go for the higher SPF. I believe that this is great to wear under makeup as well as I understand it. Obviously, once I start using it, I'll keep you guys updated, but I can already tell like this is gonna be a win for me just by even putting it on my hand and seeing how invisible it is. Okay, so this is actually, well, I can't call this a repurchase. This is a purchase because I used a sample and I was obsessed with it and then I saw Dev's Day talk about it and I was like, sold. I'm getting the full uh, the full size of this. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner, which is hydrating and pore refining. There she is. You look gorgeous. Love when they put literally everything on the box. Love it. It says hydrate skin and help minimize the appearance of pores all at once with this gentle dual acid watermelon toner. This bouncy alcohol-free treatment is formulated with PHA and willow bark, a natural form of BHA to help unclog and decongest pores. Combined with watermelon, hyaluronic acid, and cactus water, this toner smooths without stripping skin of its natural moisture and boosts hydration. I could not agree more. I was so incredibly impressed with the sample I had of this. I just feel like when I put this on my skin and I do just like press it into my skin, after I cleanse it, it gives me these rosy cheeks, these cherub cheeks. This really is so incredibly juicy. It's not as thin a toner as some others. And the thing about this is it's not just like a, a toner that's going to treat your skin because obviously there's BHAs and PHAs in this, but it is hydrating as well, which is a really, it's very important to me because I want something that's going to also kind of like replenish my skin after I've cleansed it. So this is a new You To The People product. You To The People is one of those brands that everything I've tried is just fantastic. I, I just really don't think you can go wrong. This I think is one of their newer products, the Retinol and Niacinamide Youth Serum Smooth and Transform. This again is another Devs Day recommendation. And I looked at the reviews on this and they're just like, everyone's losing their mind about it. So I'm really excited to try this. It says the closest dose you can get without a prescription. Elevated with adaptogens and ceramides. And it says this multi-effect retinol serum uses the power of, whoa, ret retinaldehyde. Retinaldehyde, the most potent non-prescription retinoid. I did not know that. And it says to start out with one to two nights a week. And that's probably what I'm gonna do, although, I have been using my Drunk Elephant Retinol Cream for quite some time, so I think I should be okay, but better safe than sorry. So I'm gonna pump a little bit out here. Oh, interesting. Okay, wow. So I, I thought it was gonna be like a clear serum, but it's not. That's what it looks like. I know it's a little alarmingly yellow, but obviously it blends. Actually, that's the, that's the shade of my uh, Drunk Elephant Retinol Cream as well. It doesn't seem to be much of a scent at all to that that I can detect. It does say as a tip to use exfoliating and benzoyl peroxide products separately in your routine, uh, separate from this product. I am so excited about this new Tatcha product because I just finished uh, the Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream, I think is what it's called. It's the one in the purple container. I was obsessed with it. It was just the most juicy, thick, rich, hydrating cream, just a great night cream. And I actually was thinking about repurchasing it. And then I saw Dev's Day talk about this product. This is the Indigo Overnight Repair. And I saw State of Kate talk about this. I wrote Kate and I was like, do I need to get this? And she's like, yes. Cool, 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 cool. So here it is. And I have tried it once because I could not keep my hot little hands off of this. I could not wait to wear it to bed. And just like I thought, it's everything I wanted. It's everything I needed. It's so incredible. Look at that. It is 
so cushiony. So the full name of this is the Indigo Overnight Repair Serum in Cream Treatment. She's a pretty penny. I mean, it if you're familiar with Tatcha, that's no surprise. All their stuff is very expensive, but I do feel like it is, if you if you have the cash to flash, it is worth it. Their products are phenomenal. This uh, is good for dullness and uneven texture, good for redness. It is hydrating. It has hyaluronic acid in it. This is a serum and moisturizer treatment that visibly calms irritation, strengthens skin's barrier, and balances the microbiome for a healthy hydrated glow. It's good for all skin types, normal, dry uh, combination, and oily. And it has Japanese indigo extract, which visibly soothes and restores irritated skin from redness to dry patches, hyaluronic acid and ceramides to hydrate and lock in moisture, and Mondo grass root, which balances skin's microbiome for healthy looking radiant skin. I can already tell this is gonna be a favorite. Okay, let's see if this has gotten any better. You know what, I think I need more ice. I'll be right back. Okay, so moving on from skincare to makeup. And this is a product that was just sent to me by a subscriber. This is sent to me by the lovely Lisa. So thank you so much to Lisa. You are too generous. This is the LYS Beauty Aim High Multi-Use Liquid Highlighter. And I actually did take the opportunity to wear it on my cheeks today, just so you could see what it looks like on my face. Okay, so this is a liquid highlighter. It comes in three different shades. I have the shade Brave, which is champagne. I love LYS's packaging. I love this whole triangular situation. It says, say goodbye to dull, lifeless skin forever. It is skincare infused, serum-like formula and contains a powerhouse duo of mango fruit extract. I feel elderly. This is the smallest print I've ever seen. I'm very, very proud of myself for being able to read it. Skincare infused mango fruit extract and hyaluronic acid to give skin a healthy dose of glimmering radiance. Okay, so I'm shaking it up and I will say you don't need to squeeze this. Like barely, barely squeeze it. Like it kind of comes out on its own because I squeeze it a normal amount and I got way too much product. That's what the product looks like right there. And this is definitely like kind of, yeah, it's like a really uh, pretty, on my skin, it almost is like a little bit of a bronzy champagne-y highlight. There it is on my hand. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm going to keep using this and see, you know, what I think about it. But upon first use. I think it looks gorgeous. I think it applied really well. Um, I mean, it's really watery. So, you know, compared to something like the Auric Glow Lust or even the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, this is definitely more slippy and lightweight than that. So if that sounds like your jam, you probably love this. Okay, next moving on to a couple of makeup items that I got in my Sephora sale haul. I had to get another one of these freaking say do blushes so this is one of their newer shades i initially got chili and now i have spicy i actually saw amanda z use this and i was angry i was honest to god enraged at how gorgeous her cheeks looked okay this is a lot of product but just so you can see what it looks like i think that's going to look beautiful almost kind of like a bronziness to it, right? Like, I feel like this would work for really any time of year. Oof, I'm excited. I don't know. It might be a standoff. I might like this more than chili. We'll have to see. Yeah, this is definitely a shade. Like, it looks very brownish in the tube. And for me, I always, I don't know why, but that just scares me. But I'm really learning that I need to stop with that because so many like nudie sort of browns that I've been trying lately, I'm into. So I picked up the Dior Backstage Concealer. This was a recommendation from Michelle Wong. She really loved this concealer. And you know, I kind of gravitate toward the same concealers all the time. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but just trying to mix it up here. I got this shade and it's too light. This is Zero N, which is fair skin with neutral undertones. So I'm definitely going to return, or I'm gonna exchange this. But I did try this today. I actually, it's not what I'm wearing right now because it was too light and I wiped it off. But I really, really like the applicator of this. I just wanna show you, I've never had a concealer applicator, like a little tiny paintbrush. This is a caffeine infused radiant concealer that delivers waterproof and creaseproof full coverage with an innovative makeup brush applicator for precision. It really was so nice to apply because there wasn't too much product. 
I could just put like a very small amount down and I could already tell that I loved what it was doing. I just can't totally tell because it was too light. It's just not the right shade. But once I get the right shade, I will let you know. Say Beauty sent me some PR, which was very exciting. Okay, not mad about being on that PR list. She sent me their cotton balls. Okay, wait. It's true. Our packages are padded with cotton. Oh, wait, am I, am I getting this right? This is like basically they're packing to cushion the products, but you can also use it. Ugh, say, what won't you think of? Okay. So they sent me three products. The first of which is one of my favorites. I already have it, but I'm thrilled to have a backup because I am in love with it. This is the Say Sun Melt, which is their natural cream bronzer. I'm not going to open that up because I'll just show you what it looks like with the one I have. You probably already heard me talk about it, but here is the Say Sun Melt. I am wearing this on my face today. It really is just such an easily blended uh, cream bronzer. It's definitely one of my favorites and it is absolutely my go-to bronzer. Like I literally have it just sitting here, you know, on, on my chest of drawers. And it's what I'm reaching for every time I do my makeup right now. And then they sent me another one of their dew blushes in the shade Rosie. And they sent a swatch card. So you can kind of see the different shades here. This is Chili, which is the original one I had. And this right here is Spicy. Um, so you can really see there's a huge difference between those two. God, I'm so excited to try that, but let's try rosy right now. So this is a warm rose. We love that fatty doe foot applicator, don't we? So that right there is rosy. Yeah, really, really pretty, really approachable color. A little bit of peachiness to that as well, I feel like. I love a peachy pinky cheek, so. And then the last thing they sent me, which I do not have, is their air set. And I've heard really great things about this Radiant Loose Setting Powder. They sent it in the shade Translucent. Set smooth and diffuse with our unbelievably weightless and radiant loose powder patented aerated cream technology that delivers a translucent sheen and provides a natural velvety finish to skin. And I'm not gonna use the powder right now. I'm gonna save this for another time, but I just wanna thank Say for sending all of this my way. I'm really loving this brand. This is actually reminding me, I need to break out my Say Slip Tint. That was one of my favorite foundations when it came out at the time. And of course, I've just completely gotten overwhelmed with foundations. And that means that amazing foundations have kind of like fallen to the side. Okay, I'm sorry, but I, I had to switch to wine. I mean, this is, this is disgusting. I don't know how I did this. So much better. Okay, so Koki Cosmetics sent me their new soft gradient blushes. He sent a little note, a little handwritten note, which is lovely. It says, hi Kate, spring is in the air. To get you ready for flowers and fun, we've sent our new soft gradient blush. These beauties are pigmented, buildable, and silky soft. We hope you love them. Thank you to Koki Cosmetics. They sent me five of the shades. I'm looking at them online right here and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight total. I'm not gonna open all of these up because I'm not quite sure sure if I need to be keeping all of these, but I do want to open one of them up and we can see what it looks like. And I don't know, maybe I will keep all of them. We'll see. I'm going to, I'm just kind of randomly picking one. I'm going to go with tender. Um, excuse me. Look at this. Holy hell. Okay. So this is an ombre of colors that blend together for a perfectly flattering finish. I can't take my eyes off of this. This might be one of one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in the pan. Wow, Koki. It says it's a buildable matte finish. The pigmented formula is buildable so you can achieve anything from a gentle blush to a serious flush. These are freaking gorgeous. My God, I am keeping all these. I'm gonna keep them. Well, obviously I already have blush on right now, which I, I'm gonna get to in a second. So I'm not going to put this on my face. I'm going to save this but pins and needs, right? Because this looks stunning. Let me just kind of take a brush and put it on the back of my hand. Wow, look at the imprint on there. Isn't that amazing? Huh, that's an elephant. That's an elephant on there. Wow, I'm, I'm like blown away. I mean, the packaging itself isn't anything fancy, but it's also just a very, very affordable brand. So that's not surprising, but I just can't get over can't get over this. I'm just gonna swirl it around. That's the brush right there. What? 
I'm just like kind of blending, blending, blending. Oh my God. I can just tell I'm gonna have so much fun with these. I cannot wait to try the other shades. Wow. Koki, you better come through. Could this be more up my alley? You guys know what a blush fanatic I am. That actually might be one of the things I'm most excited to try. Okay, the next blush I'm gonna talk about is the Bare Minerals uh, Gen Nude Bronzer, which is a combination of a blush and a bronzer. I've been hearing so much about this from so many people, State of Kate, Khaki Reviews Beauty, and they were all right. They were all right. <laughs> I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I have it on my cheeks today. I obviously am a very uh, pale skinned person and this is the deepest shade and it's totally wearable. I just go in with a light hand. So going with a light hand also never hurts to use a beautiful brush to apply it. I use the BK Beauty 107 uh, brush to apply this. It is radiant. I'm gonna swatch it for you. Oh, it's gonna be so pigmented in this swatch. Look at that. Look at her. So, so beautiful. Just looks like, I was gonna say a sunburn. I feel like that has negative connotations to it, but I don't mean it negatively. I mean like it looks like the most, like you just gotten a little bit too much sun, but you look like the healthiest version of yourself. If this is not your shade, it does come in other shades and I'm so into the formula. It's so buttery, it's so velvety. It's so easy to apply that I might have to go ahead and get the the two other shades. I'm just really, really impressed with this. The packaging is like whatever. I mean, you know, I don't really care. It's it's really nothing to write home about, but the the formula is just phenomenal. Okay, and that wraps up this haul video. That felt like a lot, actually. And I have so many things that I cannot wait to try. I feel like I've been waiting to film this haul video so that I can actually like start digging into the products. So I will keep you guys updated on my thoughts about these newer products. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me. Oh, no, wait, nope, 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 nope. Okay. <laughs> you guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Bye. Mm.